that means you want to know whether all diseases are curable or not. There, are, there is a group of diseases which are not curable. It is a fact. But it is treatable. There are methods in Ayurveda to manage a disease with the medicines and with the food um, control in a successful way. It doesn't mean that it is totally cured. It is not the case with the one disease. It is so many diseases are like that. The responsibility of a doctor is to treat a patient and to give good results. There are many diseases, uh, a large number of diseases are curable. Curable doesn't mean that it will not come again. That problem is solved at that time. That is one thing. And sometimes what happens, if the causative factor is remaining, or that patient is again practicing the trigger factors, then that will uh, that disease will um, recur again. So this is a, that is a fact. Suppose in nowadays it is very familiar that uh, so many conditions in the eye, such as dryness or uh, in this uh, short sight like that, it is um, managed. And the first step of any treatment is to remove the causative factors. That is, uh, everybody knows that. If uh, we will say, for a diabetic patient, we will say don't take sugar content uh, diets or food items. Like that, restrictions are there. But in many cases, that restrictions are not possible. For example, we know if the, the screen time or um, excessive usage of mobile phone and uh, these laptops, computers, so there is causative factor for a particular disease. In many conditions, we are not able to say to them, don't use these items later. It is not possible. That means that trigger factor is existing. In such a condition, we will have to manage that condition with the medicine, continuous. Just like with diabetes, they have to manage it with the medicine. Like that, if you are stopping that medicine or for stopping that um, following the instructions, it will recur. Then again, we will have to boost up. That is what is happening. And the nature of some diseases are different um, from one disease to another disease. Some are genetic that cannot be cured. Some uh, in Ayurveda, there are four classification for disease. One is Sukha Sadhyam. That means it is a, a permanently cured, one group. Second is uh, Shastra Sadhyam. That means it can be managed only by surgical methods. Third is Yapya. Yapya means we have to manage it with the medicine, cannot be cured, but can be treated, can be managed. That patient can live a good life along with the medicine or along with the treatments. That is yapya. Third is asadhya. That means cannot be cured. Not cured, cannot be even treated. It will not give any result. To identify or to uh, separate these four classifications is very important. It is responsibility of the doctor to, to convey this message to the patient, to make, to convince them, this is your condition. In this state, when I treat, it, you will get a good result and can be permanently cured. And this case cannot be cured permanently, but you have to follow some restrictions and you can have a good management. Other case, this is surgical. Whether in Ayurveda or Nyalop, that is a different thing. Surgical management is surgical management. If one doctor is not using surgical methods, that is the problem with that doctor, not the science. In Ayurveda, um, more than 50 percent of the diseases are surgically managed. It is prescribed like that. And other group, you will not get results. This is in uh, this condition is in such a stage. But the patient will not agree with that. They, they will be giving treatments. Uh, they will be demanding treatment up to the last breath. That is their hope. That also is said in Ayurveda science. Uh, and Yavad Kanda Gada Prana, that term is used. Um, until the prana means life is going up to the uh, this level. 
kanda means a neck region the patient deserves treatment why patients are kept in ventilation they want to get it to extend the life even though no there is no hope will try it up to the last moment that is the responsibility of the doctor the patient also uh, demands that they want to extend their life so in that way we will give treatments we will give them instructions if you are following this way it uh, you can have this uh, you will get this results and uh, if you are doing treatment in this way you can manage in this way like that we will give directions and instructions it doesn't mean that all diseases are totally curable all diseases uh, will get uh, 100 percentage result it is not possible because especially in this present era people are not in a uh, mental condition to follow the instructions to um, get rid of the disease they want to live a good life with the medicine i am i am ready to take medicine but i am uh, i i can't uh, keep away from this thing i have to work in computer but i am ready to take medicine i am not uh, able to um, keep away from travel but i am ready to take medicine to avoid any uh, complications that may develop from that that is the present situation so we have to cope with them we have to satisfy their needs and necessity and give convince them and give the necessary advice that is what is we doing in our practice to be done in the practice